Hey guys, Jack Webster coming at ya. Uh, I have a cool little rubber band magic tutorial here. Uh, it uses only one rubber band. And actually it kind of uses two because you use one and your spectator uses one. Uh, I'll get more into that later. Anyways, you show the rubber band just like this. Pull it up, down, up, down, up. And if actually if you just squeeze and rub, it actually links to itself. Watch, you can actually do that again. It's just normal, no, no knots or anything in it yet. Watch, if you pull it up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. It's just like a video game thing. Up, down, up, down, square, B, right. Okay, anyways, new rub. It links together. This is just an ordinary rubber band. And uh, I'll get into the tutorial right now. Okay, so this is a great opener for a rubber band uh, magic routine because you'll use two bands really, but you only you will only use one, but uh, you'll give another one to a spectator and just tell them to follow along with you. This will help with the effect because uh, they won't be able to do the trick because they don't know the secret behind it, and you will, and they'll just be confused, and it's funny. I use this as my opener for my rubber band routine. Uh, it's pretty good, right? So uh, they follow you to this. You squeeze, you squeeze it in the middle, go up, down, up, down a couple times, and the secret is you go around your index finger, so it knots it, just like that. Just go up, down, up, down. You don't want to make it obvious like this. You want to curl it in some, still go a little bit around, and you don't want to just like do the, do the secret move, and just stop. I'm gonna go up, down, up, down, and I usually do it on the third time I go down. And I'll do it one or two more times. Tell them to squeeze. And it's linked to itself. It's a pretty cool trick. Uh, I first learned this from uh, Jeff McBride's lecture. Uh, it's, it's one of those tricks that fooled me, it fooled everybody in the class like four times. Right? But uh, to keep them from noticing you doing the move, the move, you're going to uh, instruct them to do the same things as you. So they go up, down, and tell them, make sure you're doing it right, just like that. And when you're telling them to do it right, look at their bands. Don't look at your bands. Look at theirs. That's good misdirection. Since they will, I notice with a lot of times with magic, they'll look where you are looking. It could have nothing to do with the trick. They'll just look where you're looking. And if you... And quite honestly, if you just look up in the randomly in the sky or ceiling, just in the middle of anywhere, people will probably tend to look up there also, just because that's natural habit to see what is there. Right, so you go up, down, you look at theirs, while you do the secret move, and then they are linked. And then you can use the two rare bands for another tricks. Also, one thing you can do to unlink them magically, I, I really wouldn't do this, but... You can do the same thing and go around your thumb, and then they're unlinked, but uh, I don't suggest that. So uh, I hope you have fun with this trick. It's a nice little trick. Uh, I love doing it. It fools people. Don't be afraid to use it just because of that one move. And that's pretty much it. Bye-bye.